Good Sunday evening, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with a quick weather update for you. Another hot day in the Mid-South area for today. Looking at some pretty steamy conditions over the next several days as we go into October. Yes, I know we'd prefer to have the cooler weather in here. No, it's not going to be happening anytime soon, unfortunately, because we've got some very warm air sticking around and the potential of some showers and thunderstorms out there, which could cause some problems for outdoor activities, football, soccer, baseball, marching band practice for the kids, anything like that going on outdoors, that golf game that you've been thinking about uh, could be in jeopardy for the next couple of days. Again, safety first. If you see lightning or hear thunderstorms, hear thunder from the lightning out there, time to get back indoors again for safety's sake. And that heat out there, temperatures are going to be more akin to July in this area rather than October. So once again, it's going to be some pretty warm conditions across the area for the next few days. We're going to try to get back to some cooler weather hopefully by about mid-October. Yes, I know I'm full of good news for tonight, but that's about the way it works for right now. If you got any weather reports out there, let us know where you're from. Give us an idea as to a city-state location, whether you're in the Mid-South, East Arkansas, West Tennessee, or North Mississippi, and or if you're around from the rest of the country or wherever you are around the planet, please give us an idea as to where exactly you're checking in from. Coming up in just a little bit, along with your complete forecast, we'll take a look at some more of your weather pictures, and we'd love to see your pictures from around the Mid-South or wherever. You can tweet them to me. You can send them to me. Blue bar at the bottom of your screen showing the social media networks, and if you can't stick around for the whole forecast here, all you have to do is check the red bar at the bottom your screen scrolling on by nicely there or go to wreg.com slash weather for more information and we'll keep you updated on that for right now. Welcome to everybody who's tuning in. Uh, Robin Reagan, when does the time change? That's November the 4th. Not going to be for about another uh, month or so out there so we don't have much time to worry about that but changeover taking place in about a month or so. Now, toward tomorrow morning, getting the kids out to the bus stop or you heading out to wherever you're going, school, work, or errands, or anything like that, may want to go ahead and pack the rain protection because we could see some isolated showers, maybe a few thunderstorms popping up into tomorrow morning. It doesn't look like much, but once again, we could be seeing again some activity by about the time we're on the air with News Channel 3 Daybreak, so please keep that in mind. Paulette, Mor Paulette Morrow, 71 and clear in New Bern, Tennessee. Uh, thank you very much for that one. Ready for the cool temps, Rasonia Black. Thank you very much for that one. Ah, Director Extraordinaire Melissa Joseph joining us for tonight. Thank you very much uh, for tuning in, and Chef Extraordinaire, too. Some of those cookies she makes are absolutely uh, incredible. So thanks for joining us tonight. Claire, 70 in New Bern. Don Garner, welcome to the show, and thanks for the weather report out there. And again, if you got weather information out there, we'll uh, read those weather reports for you coming up here as we get them. When is it going to get at least cool out Greg McLean. Answer to that, no time soon. Yeah, I know. Sorry, I'm full of good information for tonight, but uh, I'm afraid that's the way the forecast is looking like uh, for right now. Rachel Kemp will talk about the forecast for Bihalia and the rest of the Mid-South coming up here in just a little bit. Another above normal day. 10 degrees below record high, 96. Last set back in 1953, a pretty hot year around here. 80 is where we should be for a normal high temperature. 59 the normal low, a couple degrees above that. Comfortable morning in the Mid-South. No precipitation today, and we're still ahead by 9 inches for the year. So we've had plenty of rainfall, looking very good on the moisture and the vegetation. No fire danger to report across the Mid-South. We still have westbound poplar shut down by Memfix 4. Project construction going on from TDOT. Now again, the, ex the exit lane from 240 eastbound right back up to the westbound lane is closed down, and westbound poplar traffic is being routed off to the interstate going back to 240 eastbound. So westbound poplar still shut down for this evening. Eastbound poplar, park, Quince, Shady Grove, just out of view back toward the north out of this camera range. That's open, as is Walnut Grove. This should be reopened again by tomorrow morning at 6 o'clock at the latest, so we shouldn't have a problem with anything involving commutes out there. Not a bad evening in downtown Memphis, mostly clear uh, into and around the Mid-South area for right now, so we should not see too much of anything else uh, in the way of major fog out there. Jerry Bow, have I been drinking? Yes, I've had some uh, 
very tasty black cherry soda and also some water. Thanks for asking. Uh, glad to see somebody's taking my hydration into account for right now. When will it start feeling more like fall? Bella Klein, nothing to worry about for right now on that, unfortunately. Jerry Bo, yeah, you try working my schedule and you'll look overworked as well. And thanks to everybody else for checking on through. Jupiter, visible right now across the area, looking pretty quiet in the Mid-South area again. Otherwise, on Storm Tracker 3S radar, we have little, if anything, coming up in the way of rain immediately after midnight. Again, that could be a bit of a change. Bruce Lee, Paris, Tennessee, clear and 66 degrees. Thank you for that one across the area. And if you got those weather reports out there, drop them into the comments section and we'll read them off as we go along. I would go ahead and get the umbrella ready to go if you're going to be heading out the door in the morning just to be on the safe side again. And the kids needing some rain protection. We'll take a look at the school day forecast coming up here in just a little bit. Moisture starting to increase down to the south of us, mid-south area up here and down toward the Gulf Coast, Louisiana, South Mississippi, Alabama. More areas of clouds and rain rainfall making their way up into and around this direction will continue to do so throughout the rest of the evening out there for right now but much of this is again going to be sticking around this area it's going to be a slow progression up toward the north and not going to be doing too much in the way of cooling us off any point in time uh, hot as he double hockey sticks tammy russell and you want to then the air off yeah unfortunately not really getting too much cooler than that anytime soon Unfortunately, we'll take a look at the seven-day forecast in just a little while. Temperatures on live real-time WeatherNet 3 back into the lower to mid-70s. A few upper 70s out there. U of M Earth Sciences checking in with numbers back into the mid to upper 70s right now. Winds are mainly calm, and the winds are going to have a big effect on our temperatures as we see these southerly winds start to bump the temperatures up by just a little bit. Danny Wells, clear and 65 in Jackson. Thank you very much uh, for that one. And Thanks for checking on in there as well. Rest of the evening, let's go ahead and run the numbers and show you what we've got going on. Computer getting a little over eager and sending up some rainfall into and around the area first off in the next couple of days. Going to be seeing more chances, but I don't think we're going to see too much until probably about daybreak tomorrow. Mid to upper 60s for the low temperatures there at this point in time. Mallory Hare, are we going to have a cold winter? and you want some snowfall out there, well, as of right now, it doesn't look like it's going to be a really cold winter. It looks pretty normal on temperatures according to the Climate Prediction Center, and also, again, a pretty normal precipitation type weather, so it doesn't really look like it's going to be too dry or too overabundant on precipitation. Good question on that. Uh, we'll take a look at the Climate Prediction Center forecast coming up in just a little while. It was a little while, and we'll post some of those on my Facebook page if you like to take a look at those as well. Harold Purnell, where are the cold fronts? Isn't it kind of late for them not to make it this far south? Good question. Yes, they can make it this far south at this time of the year, but this is also the time of the year where we can get pretty hot and humid to where we can see temperatures easily in the 90s, even the triple digits toward October. It's rare, but it happens, and yes, we can get those cold fronts coming on through, but right now the warm air from off the Gulf is going to be kind of holding sway across the area, so yes, we can get those cold fronts, but not immediately, at least not anytime soon. Very good question, Mr. Purnell. Thank you very much on that. Clear in 75 in Sardis, Mississippi. Mississippi, Venters Carlton. Hope I'm saying that rec uh, right. Thank you very much uh, for that one. Any rain in Marshall County, Rachel Kemp, not immediately, but we will be seeing again more potential for rainfall a little bit later on. Hattiesburg, Mississippi, hot and humid. Randy Adams, thanks for checking in a little bit closer to the Gulf Coast tonight. Do appreciate that. And Bruce Mize from Dumas, Mississippi, thanks for checking on through. Chances of rain and a few thunderstorms possible through tomorrow morning, right on into tomorrow afternoon. So getting the kids to school and picking them back up again. That's where we could see, again, those showers and thunderstorms out there. And that could stick around into the time of after-school extracurricular activities. So keep that in mind if the kids are going to have any delays or plans out there for right now. Uh, Tim Short, weather for this week in Savannah, Tennessee. We'll take a look at that in the forecast coming up here uh, in just a little bit, so stay tuned for more on that. And unfortunately, through tomorrow night, not that cool. Temperatures by News Channel 3 at 10 tomorrow evening, late Monday evening, only going back 
into the mid to upper 70s. So again, that pretty steamy weather is going to be sticking around throughout the course of the rest of the day. And repeat that forecast you just saw here for Tuesday, and you got a pretty good idea of what's coming down the pike out there. Now, tomorrow morning, I'm not expecting too much of a huge problem. Uh, where my, there are my numbers. It takes a while for that data to flow in, unfortunately. We could be looking at some isolated patchy fog tomorrow if conditions are right, and most of that should be in West Tennessee and Northeast Mississippi. So may want to plan ahead again for some possible fog out there uh, into and around the area. Deborah Houghton Hobson, what has happened to fall? Again, this is the time of the year to where we can get some pretty good fluctuations on the temperatures up and down. And right now it's going back up again. So the warm air coming up off the Gulf is going to do a good job of keeping the temperatures just a little bit below stifling, but not much better than that. Good question on that. Collierville 73, Ronnie Williams. Thank you very much uh, for checking in. Melinda Mills, horse riding weather. I haven't had a chance to get out uh, on the horses for a little bit. Got a friend down in Hernando at the middle school who has a lot of horses. I'll have to go check and see if we can check one of those out for right now. Popping hot and fiery in Sledge, Mississippi. 74 degrees. Humidity at 84. Gwendolyn Pugh. Thank you very much for that weather check-in. Mid to upper 80s tomorrow. And again, not great chances for showers and thunderstorms, but still possible just about any point in time throughout the course of the rest of the day. Almost identical conditions right on the end of Tuesday. And again, not great chances, not a huge chance all the way over spreading the area, but it will be possible, again, to see that chance of showers and thunderstorms out there throughout the rest of Tuesday. Now, good news, again, for outdoor activities. Well, semi-good news, I guess I should say, is that by Wednesday, we see less of a chance of anything involving showers or thunderstorms, a mixture of clouds and sunshine. Uh, the bad news at this time is very close to 90 degrees all the way throughout the rest of this next week. Friday night football looks toasty next week, Friday. Temperatures back in the upper 80s. And also, unfortunately, schedule with weather right now showing temperatures as we head into and around the area of next weekend. Could be again back in the mid 80s or so, not really seeing too much in the way of heat relief and the chances of showers and thunderstorms could be a problem for outdoor activities out there. Amos King, nice fishing weather. Uh, okay, I know people who love going out fishing in very cold weather too, but uh, if this is more your taste. Congratulations and enjoy your time out on the lake. Kesha Dixon on Sardis Lake, uh, 71 degrees with a nice breeze. Thank you very much uh, for checking in with that one. 10-day forecast, again, looking as far as we can into the second week of October and not seeing too much of anything in the way of relief. Now, again, on this side of the graphic, 10 days out, these are more suggestions than anything else because these numbers have a possibility of fluctuating and changing. These numbers closer here, that's a lot more in the very near future. So we can nail these down with certainty right here. Hopefully something may change. And uh, the gentleman who was asking about the cold fronts a little while ago, again, this could easily change when we see some cooler temperatures coming on through. It's just that we're not getting anything immediately like that. So over the next several days, Again, looks like those 80s are going to be holding sway for much of the Mid-South and not seeing anything in the way of major amounts of cooler weather. It'd be nice, just not seeing anything like that for right now. Vince Tetwan from uh, Topeka West High School, fellow graduate there. Thanks a lot for checking in, sir. Hope everything's going well back your direction. Aubrey, Arkansas, 77 and clear. Thank you very much for that. Mike Smith, yes, Go Jim Go continues tomorrow. Make certain that if you see Jim traveling around the Mid-South to stop him and to give your donation for Le Bonner Children's Hospital, or you can do it by texting, or you can go to our website. Again, go to WREG.com and just uh, check out more for Go Jim Go. He's got about three more days into and around the area for right now. Night temperatures look nice. Focus on that. D. Fugat. Fugat. Hope I'm saying that right. Again, not bad. It's going to be uh, not exactly as cool as you would like it. Not exactly jacket weather out there. All right, into the tropics real quick. Leslie is expected to become a hurricane again into about the next couple of days, curving its way back to the south and west. But as of right now, it just remains a fish storm. It's just going to be bothering the fish. It doesn't look like any threat to the United States, the Caribbean, or down into around portions of the Windward Island islands or the Gulf of Mexico, and nothing in the Gulf or the Caribbean at this time. Leftovers of Kirk, 
kind of wandering their way back into the Gulf, but that's not expected to be a problem. What is going to be changing is going to be back on the opposite side of the continent. Hurricane Rosa making its way back to the northwest. It was a hurricane. Now it's been downgraded to a tropical storm, winds of 70 miles per hour. This is going to be going across the Gulf of Baja and up into the desert southwest. So if you're planning on traveling anywhere in the next couple of days, anywhere between, say, east of San Diego and west of Albuquerque, this thing could be bringing a lot of rain and some breezy winds out this direction. So we could be seeing some more problems with travel out there. Las Vegas, around Phoenix, uh, back toward Tucson, and around Flagstaff could be picking up some pretty nasty weather. Doesn't look like severe weather, but outdoor plans are traveling through this general area right along I-40. Anywhere, again, east of Los Angeles could be seeing some pretty pretty heavy rainfall from a tropical system heading up this direction. They do happen. They're not, again, an often occurrence, but they do happen from, from time to time out that direction and from periods of time out there for right now. Uh, Fugit, okay, all right, my apologies, D. Fugit on that. With a name like Onik, you would think that I would know better. Uh, try to get everybody's name pronounced properly just to be on the kind side. So thank you very much for putting up with that mispronunciation there. Mark Miller, nice foggy view of Coral Lake. That was yesterday morning and a view... Didn't have a chance to place it in here of what it looked like two hours later after it cleared off. A beautiful Saturday there. Also a beautiful Saturday around the area of Bihalia. Rebecca Maddox, great view from around North Mississippi. Uh, didn't get a location on this, but last Monday, some clearing skies from Dana Walker Johnson. Thank you very much for that as the skies begin to clear up and the clouds begin to break by just a little bit. If you've got anything into and around the area, again, for pictures, if you're in the Mid-South or not, send them along to me, and I'd love to feature them again on our weathercasts on air and also on our webcast like this one right here online. So if you want to tweet them to me, please do so. You can reach me just about any place on social media. And, of course, you can email them to me at austin.onic at wrag.com. Santana Thompson, weather for Crenshaw tomorrow. About the same as the rest of the Mid-South, warm, humid, with chances of showers and thunderstorms, so not really seeing much of anything in the way of expected change on that one for the time being. It'd be nice, but nothing changing for most of the Mid-South anytime soon. All right, one more check of the school day forecast. Again, warm and humid to start off, hot and humid with chances of showers and thunderstorms throughout the school day. So when the kids head out for the school bus stop, they may need the rain protection. They might need it again on the way home after the last bell rings. So once again, please keep that in mind as you head the kids out the door. Catch my forecast throughout what's left of the weekend on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3 on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network stations. And join me tomorrow morning with Bob and Josh on Talk by Back live on AM 730. Can't get them on air because you're out of the area. Dial them up online. Sports chat extraordinaire on talkbacklivenetwork.org. A lot of great stuff coming up. A lot of sports stuff to chat about. So again, join them tomorrow morning for more information on that. Coming up in just about half an hour or so, join me on my Facebook page, Periscope, and Twitter pages as well as we take a look at whether where the troops are, if you have friends or loved ones around the world, including around near Okinawa, where what was left of Typhoon Trammy making its way back through the area of the Western Pacific. That, again, bit of a problem there. We'll take a look at selected areas where there are American troops uh, serving around the globe. Those who can't make it home, again, through weather out there, we'll tell you more about what's going on around the area. We'll take a look at more of your weather pictures as well, and that'll be coming up here in just about a half an hour or so. Also, because the NFL ran late tonight, we're going to be on with News Channel 3 at 10 on the late edition, and that'll start at about 10.43 tonight. So we will be on a little bit late. So again, join us for All the Day's News with Kristen Holloway. Megan Rice has All the Day's Sports, and of course, yours truly will have more details on your weather forecast. That'll be on the late edition of News Channel 3 at 10, starting at about 10.43 for this evening. Kesha Dixon, uh, yeah, would pack the umbrellas just to be on the safe side for right now. Santana Thompson, cool-ish in the morning for the kids heading to school. I think you're going to be lucky to see the mid to upper 60s at best and not really much more than that anytime soon, so not really much better than that for right now. Join also Todd Demers tomorrow morning for his complete forecast. That'll be starting bright and early on News Channel 3 Daybreak, and that'll be at 4.30 tomorrow morning bright and early Monday. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onyx. Stay tuned 
tuned for much more with News Channel 3 online at wreg.com slash weather. And, of course, on the late edition tonight of News Channel 3, join us at about 10.43 p.m. Thanks for joining us tonight, and have a great week ahead.